What's up fam? Brutelli here and welcome to our, well, the beginning of our Pokemon adventure. So some people have probably uh, heard about this, maybe not. She's ultimately a uh, game where you're playing on the Game Boy. And you start off, you can choose between three regions, I believe they're about to add a fourth one. It's basically playing the Game Boy games, but as MMO, really. So, you got other players from all around the world playing. The game provides everything you need. It's a bit more difficult than the Game Boy games with a couple of changes. But I'm not too 100% certain on that, because some of these games I didn't actually get around to playing when I was a bit younger. So, we're just going to build a character here. I'm just trying to think, what's going to be my rival name? What can we name it? Yeah, we'll just name it. No, no, no. Ash. There we go. That works. Male skin tone. Here, here. Then we'll make our guy bald. Blue eyes. <laughs> Give him a beard. Um. Sleeveless top. Yeah, singlet top, baby. White singlet. Given some boots, like those black. We'll say jeans. So you can see our starting regions here Unova, Kanto, and Hoenn. Of course, I'm going to start off in Kanto. And I think that's all we really need to do for now. So we'll click on that and get started. As you can see, we've got another player right here already. Now I'm curious. I can't currently enter the PC. It's a bit annoying, but hey. Oh, that's right. I don't think you get the potion from this at all. As you can see, it's kind of nice and pretty. Just gonna have a wee drink of my coffee here. Mouth's a bit dry. My manager called this for quite a while now, but never got around to it. But I can tell you guys now, this is a great game. It's like playing the Game Boy games, you've also got the ability to breed your IVs and such. Alright, what do we want to choose? Yeah, nah, let's just go over to uh, Charamendo. We're not going to be keeping them, so it doesn't really matter. Now with this you can actually go through and catch the starter Pokemon later on as well. I believe here in Kanto you actually have to wait till you're up to the islands. Um, and Hoenn are just random spawns. I haven't actually played Unova. Or Unova. I never actually got up to that generation of Pokemon games, so when I do get there, I'm going to be pretty confused. Lots of new Pokemon to learn. As you can see on the screen here, we've got a chat to talk to everyone else. Up in the top left, it tells us the town, how much money we've got, and the time. Pokemon there on the right, and you've also got all your inventory stuff down the bottom here. Sweet, we leveled up our Charmander. I'll have to excuse the little congestion guys, they have been a little bit under the weather. And now to show you, if we go over here and right click, we bring up a summary of our Charmander. So he's got his nature and all that. Tells you who's the original trainer, XP, next level, standard stuff. Tells you his attack and such, his happiness. You can see how well they'll be at level 50 because when you do competitive play and such, your Pokemon around is level 50. You've got your EVs for the EV training. Your IVs. Of course, all starter Pokemon, I believe, are just 15 straight out. I haven't gotten around to seeing what that's about there. Information where you met. 
your moveset, and you can, of course, change the position, shows your abilities, ribbons, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Even tells you where to get them. And particles, so I think that's a shiny option. So we'll get on to our adventure anyway. Damn tips. <laughs> Ain't no one care about tips, son. Man, a lot of people seem to choose Charmander at the start, don't they? So I know this is Kanto, but you do come across some uh, Johto Pokemon, seeing as we don't actually have Johto in the game. And I think they didn't put that in just because, you know, there's extra stuff you can get in it. Or something, I'm not too sure, I didn't actually research, but I'm assuming there's a reason they don't have it in the game. Which is annoying, because it was one of my favourite areas, because I absolutely love Mount Silver. Oh yeah, and if you're always curious about how to do what they're doing with the Charmander, just click on the screen, drag them off onto the screen, and now you've got Pokemon following you. They could be anywhere in your party, you just have to have them in your party to have them following. Jeez, we're already seven minutes in and we haven't even gone and got an Oaks parcel. Yeah, a couple of people talking in there. <laughs> Someone got their own bike. Thank you for the level up. Yeah, I believe that uh, what they've also done here on the game is added all the Pokemon in, so rather than only having certain Pokemon and being able to spawn in certain games, because I believe this is a Fire Red ROM, they've actually got like the Leaf Green and all that in here too. So yeah, it's quite interesting if you ask me. Plus I've had it probably about two to three hundred hours of fun on this game so far. So when I'm off camera, now that I've got a new character, I'm going to transfer money over to this guy from my other account. Just because this will be now the main account this is where I'll do training and such off camera. On camera, of course, we'll be completing the storyline, but I don't want to have you guys sit there watching me just fight everything while we grind to be able to fight the gym leaders. Pidgey with Tackle. I've never remember. I don't remember that at all. As far as I can remember, they always had Gust. But, you know, you can't hate that music, though, right? The only thing I'm hoping for is I don't get hit with a copyright on it. Because I know how anal the Pokemon creators are. I probably shouldn't sit here and attack every Pokemon come by, but I will. Yeah, I'll say, you know... First couple of episodes, we're going to be slow. Pretty much, it's going to be the case of getting a couple of Pokemon together and in between trying to train them up. What I'm interested in is seeing if I can remember all the hidden items. So much talking at the start. This is why I hate new games, but oh well. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Oak. Well, Professor Oak. Now, I do know on this you can get, um, HUD remakes and such. Which one was it that gave you the, uh, Pokeballs? I guess none of them. Yeah, you can get some HUD remakes and such. Not that I need them. I quite like the colours of this. Oh, I miss that music so much. The 
good old Pokemon battle. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, why am I still using Scratch when I can use Zimba? Goodbye, Pedri. Nice TMR. So yeah, if any viewers end up wanting to come and join and play the game, we can also set up a uh, Wii group of us. And I think they do, you know, singles competitions, group competitions, later in game. So if you breed up your Pokemon, get some good ones, it could actually be some good fun later on. Oh my god, we're even just getting through the grass. I just want to get to the Pokemart so I can grab us some Pokeballs. Because I don't believe we have... Oh, we do. Well, I'm going to catch this Pidgey then. Here I was talking to the uh, scientist trying to get some Pokeballs together and... It turns out you get them automatically. I feel like a noob. <laughs> Which is always a good start, so thank you, game. Not complain for a Pidgey. Oh, turns out you still get XP for capturing, too. So that's handy. Don't for the rat a tat tat tat, rat a tat tat. Don't think in any time I played these games I've ever bothered to catch one of these guys. Unless it was needed for the Pokédex, like the uh, items to get off the scientists. Just because, you know, quick and easy. And we're out of grass, thank god. And now knowing that uh, I have Pokéballs, I won't be such an idiot. You turn with ready and it's five percent chance, right? <laughs> if you know where to look. Too many people think they can find Pikachu everywhere through there when there's a certain spot that's easy. Alright. Another four of them. <laughs> Never mind, just encountered one. Alright, let's go catch us some Pokemon. Charmander, I've got a Pidgey, let's go have a look down in here, see what we've got. Usually it's Mankeys and Nidorans if I remember. A level 5 Mankey, that's actually not bad. Of course he's bloody good to go up against Brock. With that low kick. Please not a crit. Good. Bookable go. He got out. Oh my god. Go again. I don't want to have to be wasting all my Pokeballs just to catch Pokemon, man. Come on. Beautiful. Alright, next. Another Mankey. Yeah, I had to put that YT on the end of the name just due to the fact that. Yeah. Alright, let's check you out actually. Ouch. Those are very bad IVs. What about the Pidgey? Those are bad too. Mind you, we'll always come by a better Pokemon anyway. Another Mankey. Well, since I've caught one, I'm just going to go and leave this guy alone. I know the next one I want to capture is a Caterpie, because I do enjoy having a Butterfree. 
and then I want to go looking for a Pikachu. And I think off camera I'll do a few more capturing of the old Pikachu so that we can try and get ourselves enough for a 5 IV one because getting 6 IV is pointless as I quickly learned after wasting a lot of time. So you can usually catch Pikachu in this grass here. But out of all games I've played where Kanto's involved, the best place to actually find Pikachu is in this left hand corner. And we've got the ghost music going on in here. Yeah, just up here is the best place I've always found Pikachu to be. I tend to find a lot of Pikachu up here, so... I did the same on the other account. When I first started, I had quite a few Pikachu. Sweet, I got another Pokeball. We might as well uh, kill a few of these bugs while we're here. Some nice wee XP. So I've never been a big fan of Beedrill at all. But I do like Butterfree if Butterfree can still use Confusion because that move does come in handy a lot early game. So as I said, this is usually where I find lots of Pikachu, but so far it's nothing but Weedle. Which is quite annoying to be honest. <laughs> But hey, every weird all that turns up, some more XP for me. Oh yes, uh, if I press C, you'll be able to see here my max experience is level 20. Your Pokemon cannot level past this. So you can train them all up to level 20, and they'll keep gaining XP, but you can't get them any higher than level 20 until you've got the gym badge. But the bonus is, once you've done the gym badge, if you've done a lot of more training on that Pokemon, that XP will just bounce up levels. So you can suddenly go from your max expedience level 20 and still have enough XP to hit the next expedience. Right, what level is this guy? 6? He will work. Do not want to use Ember because then he'll just die. I'll say off camera I'll try and capture us a couple of 31 IVs. Because I think for a Caterpie I'd probably prefer him to have a high special attack over anything. Alright, anyway we'll check out his IVs now. Actually that's not too bad. Decent speed on them too. So now we've got the Caterpie, we are looking for a Pikachu. Come on, we want Pikachu. Watch the fact that now I say I'll find lots of Pikachu here, I'm not going to find one. And the thing is, when it comes to Pikachu, it has to be a good Pikachu. Otherwise, I'm not going to be too happy about it. That's right, you can also find items on Pokemon. I forgot about that. Another Caterpie. I swear I'm not going to find Pikachu. I guess Pikachu's going to end up having to be XO2. Alright guys, we're going to call that an episode. We're nearing 20 minutes now. We don't want to be going on forever, so... Just recap, we've got our starter Pokemon, a good old Charmander. Absolutely awesome, little team. Got ourselves a wee Pidgey here. 
of really bad stats. <laughs> Still needs to be trained, our Mankey. What was his moves again? Yeah, so we got low kick, so we trained him, we'll be able to uh, go up against Brock anyway. And of course our Caterby, we'll have to evolve him pretty quickly. Oh, awesome. He's got an extra boost to a special attack. Well, that's always good to see. Alright, guys. Thank you very much for watching this first episode of our Pokemon Adventure. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit sub, etc. We'll be doing uh, a new Arc Storyline series soon, which will be purely vanilla, so we're just waiting for the server to go up. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's Bridali, out.